Hi. I want to show you how to add pictures and videos in Edublogs. Okay, so this is my dashboard in Edublogs. You can see I've written a post to begin with. And now I want to add some pictures and a video. So first, I want to add a picture that is online. So I put the cursor where I want it to be. And I'll go over to Flickr. And I've already done a, a search for it to you because I want pictures that are about rainy season in Japan primarily. And that's what rainy season is called. Uh, but I also want pictures that are okay for me to use. A lot of pictures are copyrighted, which means, you know, I don't have the right to use them. So I go to advanced search. Go down to Creative Commons, and I want to check this because Creative Commons photos mean that it's okay for me to use them, usually, as long as I say where I got them and who took them. Okay, so now all of these pictures are okay to use. And I think I like this one. So let me click on it. Yeah, that's a good one. So we go to Actions, View All Sizes. And I don't want this big, so I want to get a, a medium size of one kind or another. So I'll get a smaller medium, because the smaller the size, the faster the upload. And in order to get the, the URL to put in the blog, I right click and I copy the image URL. And then I go back over to my Edge Blogs, upload or insert. And I want to add a media file from a URL. And the URL is copy and paste. Okay, now, I need to have a title for it. It won't show, but it helps me identify it in my um, files. And so I'll just add some alternate text so if anybody searches for it. Okay, now the caption is usually where I put the name of the person who took the photo. So let me go back over here, and it's Kim, Kim, Kim U. Barrett. All right, so go back over here. I'll do image Kim U. Barrett. And then I can link the image to the original URL, which will take them over to Flickr and they can see the other person's accounts. All right, now it's in my post, but I forgot to align it. So I can go back over and click on the picture and then change the position. I want to have it in the center. Okay, and everything is fine here, so update it. And that's a picture from online. I want a little more space to work with here so you can stretch out the frame. Right now I want to put a picture in from my web, my desktop. So go back up to upload and insert. This time I want to select a file from my computer. And I put some pictures over in Dropbox. Oh, here we go. Well, put that one okay, so then it's going to upload my picture. Again, I need to title it, and then I'll call it Hydrangea. All right, and I want that also in the center, medium size, insert. Again, I have two pictures. So, the last thing I want to do is add a video. Now for inserting a video, I go over to, I found a nice video on YouTube. You can upload videos, but the size limit for uploading directly to Edublogs is really, really, really small. So usually you're much better off posting your video first on YouTube or Vimeo and then embedding it in your blog. So I want to, in order to embed a video, 
click Share, and go down to Embed. And you get a code. The code is going to be this size, 640 by 360. You get different size players. And let's try this size player and see how it works. So, copy. Go back over to the post. Now, I'm going to be putting in HTML. So I need to change from the visual to HTML. So the code works. Let me say what I've got here. And we'll publish it and see how it works. Now I can preview, but sometimes videos don't show up very well in the preview. It's hard to tell if they're actually there. But here I got my picture, my picture, and again, you can't see the video. So let me go back over and just try publishing and see if the video is fine. Also check over on the visual. Yep, there's the player. Okay, so if I view the post, everything should be fine. Get my picture, picture, and there's the video. And it looks just fine. Okay, so that is how you add picture from online, add a picture from your desktop, and add a video in EduBlogs. Hope it helps.